Welcome to the seventh section of the Mastering Cassandra video course. In the previous section, we quickly built up some fundamental functions for the application, such as charting, web responsiveness, and so on. In this section, we'll continue building the nuts and bolts of our web application. We're going to enhance the functions of Cassandra WebTrader in various aspects. We'll make use of message sources to enable internationalization of the application. We'll also build the watchlist function to provide CRUD functionality to a table in the Cassandra database. Then we'll code a program to collect and decode the historical prices from Yahoo Finance and put it in a scheduler to run. When the stock data is ready, we may build a JSON web service to feed the data to generate stock charts. Lastly, we'll work on the member registration function and see how to use flash messages. First, let's look at internationalization. In this video, we're going to introduce message bundles and locales. We'll then learn how to configure them and internationalize our front end web pages. Spring includes internationalization, or I18N supports. It provides an easy way for accessing the resource bundle through the message sources. Open Web Config. Modify the class to extend from Web MVC Configure Adapter. Copy and paste this message source method. We set the base name of the message property files to simply messages. So the English messages will be in messages underscore en dot properties and so on. Then copy and paste the locale resolver method. Here we set English as the default locale. Then we override the add interceptors method to add the language parameter to indicate locale changes. That's all for web config. Now let's enable internationalization for register.jsp. Open register.jsp. We see that there are many English messages or labels here and there. The task we're going to do is to put all these English messages into the English message file and use spring tags to retrieve them instead of hard coding. So let's create a new file named messages underscore en dot properties in the static folder. Here we extract the English messages from register.jsp and replace them with unique keys. Their mapping will be saved in messages underscore en dot properties file. Doing it this way, Spring will know how to retrieve the message and put it into the view. For example, we give a unique key registerform.form.title for please sign up. Put them in the message file. Then replace please sign up here with this code snippet. It tells Spring to get the message of the key registerform.form.title. Make the keys for the remaining messages. Replace all hard coded messages with the corresponding Spring messages. Now open header.jsp. We modify the menu to offer our application an English version and a Spanish version. As we've set an interceptor for the language parameter, we may just append a language parameter to indicate the locale like this. As I don't know Spanish, I copy the English messages into Google Translate to get the Spanish version. Select all the Spanish version and save it to message underscore es dot properties. Restart the application, go to home, click on register, click on Spanish. We have a Spanish version now. Of course, there are still some labels that need to be I18N enabled, but we know how to do it now. Next, we'll look at building a CRUD function for the watch list.